The fight for the AFC's final playoff spot is going to come down to the last two weeks after the Chargers clinched the second of the three wildcard spots on Monday night. The Dolphins, who currently hold the final spot, have a 67% chance to make the playoffs, according to ESPN Analytics. Damian Woody is here now with us. Damian, who is getting that final AFC playoff spot? I'm going to go with the Jets. Oh, the Contractually Jets? Contractually obligated. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, there's a uh, shocker. My key card might stop working. No, I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Jets, and, and and the reason I'm going to go with the Jets is. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I can always – defense at this time of year is critical. Defense is critical. And when you look at the Miami Dolphins, we, we, listen, we know that they got all the weapons on offense. Their defense is very suspect. Now you're talking about operating that Miami Dolphins offense with their backup quarterback combined with the way their defense has been suspect. We saw what they looked like against the Green Bay Packers last week. They couldn't stop it. They couldn't stop Aaron Rodgers. Here's what I'll say about the Jets. They have one of the best defenses in the National Football League. What's really sucked the life out of that team, dog, you know this, oh, the, the quarterback. quarterback. Yeah, the quarter, when, you don't, when you don't have any belief in your quarterback, similar to kind of like the way the Denver Broncos look, it sucks the life out of your team. And then it ultimately broke the camel's back with the Denver Broncos and their defense. We saw what they looked like against the Los Angeles Rams. I think with Mike White coming back, and dog, you, you, be, you, you watch how the, 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 the way this team reacts – to Mike, Mike White yeah. at the quarterback position. They take on a totally the, – the, the energy and the belief of this team is, is on a totally different level. Now, I know that they're one and two under Mike White as a starting quarterback. But when you got games against the Seattle Seahawks, who are, they're faltering down the stretch. And then week 18 in Miami, potentially against Teddy Bridgewater, with, mm -hmm. with all the marbles on the line, I'll take Mike White and that Jets defense – to go out there and, and get a win and get into the postseason? Uh, it's a very tricky one, Damian. I can see where you're coming from. I don't know what to expect out of Tua in that week 18, but I agree with you about White. I think you're 100% right. He gives them some life. You know, they've had the 10 days off. Seattle's a mess, but they have to win two. New England's not beaten Buffalo in the last game of the year, so we're going to eliminate the Patriots. They have to win two. That means Miami probably has to get a split. Are they capable? The New England game is sort of 50-50, even with Bridgewater. I give the Patriots a little edge. Right. But it's a little, yeah. And then they go back home to play the Jets. That's kind of 50-50, too, even if Bridgewater has to play. So I'll play the percentage game. And you are not wrong. Yeah. But I'll play the percentage game. And I'll say, since you know the Jets have to win two, and Miami may be able to get the, into the playoffs with just one, I'll say the Dolphins will still get that last spot. But it's a good yeah. argument. Yeah. It's a good, tricky, it's a tough call. You know, Damien, we do have Jets ties, you know, back in the day. <laughs> and it really should be an easy answer. It should be the Jets, without a doubt. But the way this season has gone, I, I – everybody loves Mike White. Those guys wearing the Mike Evan White T-shirt, they love him, right? But he's not healthy. He's not going to be healthy. Like, I understand he is playing. But those ribs, I was there when the Bills knocked him out. Like, he – um, I can't believe that the Jets season and postseason post hopes hang on his ribs and those shoulders. I can't either. But no, this is where either. we're this at. This is where we are. But yeah. this is where we're at. And I am not confident. I'm not as confident in the Jets now based off of how everything has gone with the Zach Wilson, the Mike White, the, the Chris Streveler of it all, the Joe Flacco bystander. Like, I just don't. I'm not confident in the Jets. I don't think they're going to go to Seattle and win. I think Big Geno is going to come in here and play spoiler. And because of that, that's why I think the Jets are going to lose out. I, I, it should be the Jets, 1,000%. But the way the AFC looks right now with all this, these quarterback situations, whether it be injuries or the, the caliber of quarterbacks still available, it would not shock me if Mike Tomlin's Steelers made the playoffs. Honestly. Whoa. Honestly. It would not even shock me because of the way the AFC is right now over these last two weeks. Nobody, there's no AFC team right now of the ones that are in the hunt that I feel like, yes, you know what? I would, I would bet Damian Woody's palatial estate on that team <laughs> because the, everybody looks a mess right now. Yeah. You, can put, you can poke holes in absolutely every team, as great as the Patriots' defense is. Where's that offense? We were just talking about this on Get Up. Where's that? What's Mac, Mac Jones doing? What's going on there? The Jets, yes, we believe in Mike White. Ooh, Mike White come to save the day. 
Is it too little, too late? Is he still going to be too banged up to go to Seattle where we know they have a good defense? We know that playing in Seattle is extremely difficult. And we know that Gino has been waiting forever for this moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm just, maybe the Steelers are a little bit too lofty. Maybe that's a little too crazy. But they are still not eliminated either. That's why I don't know if it's going to be the Jets. Yeah, Pittsburgh's got to win in Baltimore. And, Bo and that's gonna be Baltimore, yeah, Baltimore needs got to win in Baltimore, which they can do. But the Ravens need the game, though, because they're still trying to win that division. Mm -hmm. That's a hard game. That's a low-scoring, defensive-oriented game. Uh, you, they're Baltimore, even with whoever's, what was it, Huntley playing again this week? Yes. Yeah. Even that's, with him. That's why. And they play the Browns. And they, play, they should beat the Browns. And, yeah. I, and I think you make an excellent yeah. point. I think Gino will be a pain in the neck this week. Yeah. They have yeah. played terribly. Yeah. Seattle. Oh, yeah. Uh, their yeah. defense has been yeah. off. The, they, Carolina, they, I mean, they, they've been bad. They faltered, yes, down the stretch. But uh, that's a tricky, that's a hard game. Yeah. And that, and that is, I think you just got to go mathematics. Dolphins don't have to probably go 2-0, and oh, the Jets do. Yeah, we'll see. And the Jets are both on the road. Yeah. So I'll go the percentages and I'll take Miami. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.